I'm a fancy girl that loves a little second hand. Why are you out here decorating your cupboard, decorating your refrigerator? I'm talking to all of us. So I'm not saying don't ever have nothing. Just be mindful of how you're having something. We're gonna save this money one way or another, okay? Does money flow in and out of your life like water? More so out than in. Like you're trying to save the guap, but the guap don't wanna be saved. I have 11 practical tips to help you not only hold on to your guap, but make that guap stretch. Can I get an amen? Only God can do, only God can do. I have 11 practical tips to help you save money on the daily. As a mom, I am struggling to save sometimes. And looking back, I realized which areas of my life needed work in order for me to save some money. And lately, I've been able to work on that. And I'm like, I gotta, sh I gotta share this with my sister mamas, okay? Today, we're going to get down and dirty with it. I know many of these tips y'all not gonna wanna hear, but I gotta be brutally honest with you because I want the best for you. So let's get right into it, all right? In case you don't know me, my name is Jenna. Let's get into it. Tip number one, make your own. Why are you going out to buy coffee? Why are you going out to go buy french fries that you can, you can make your own french fries? And they'll taste even better than the, than the french fries you're getting outside. Make your own, sis. Oh no, because you know I want to go try out this new cafe because all of the influencers are doing them. Influencers are single; they don't have no kids. You got kids. You got double the responsibility. Don't be checking for them influencers. Make your own at home and save them coins. What's wrong with you, mama? We can't keep up. I'm gonna make a video one of these days, and I'm gonna show y'all how to make a nice little frothy coffee. Okay from the comfort of your kitchen <laughs> because you have no business spending eight pounds, eight dollars to buy coffee outside. I said what I said, pew pew, shots fired. And I'm talking about everything that you go to buy outside. I mean, obviously not everything, but many things. Every now and again, yes, treat yourself to something outside. I mean, where I live, I live in a little village. Most of the times when I spend money to eat outside, I end up being unsatisfied because is that a word unsatisfied because i feel like the food i cook at home is better than the food i get outside and at a better portion size okay so i'm spending more money for less quality and i feel that that could be the same for you too if you don't know how to cook friend there's youtube there's absolutely no excuse for not knowing how to cook practice makes perfect get on out there and and try Try till you get it. Cause let me be the one to tell you, I couldn't cook fried air when I started this adulting thing, okay? I couldn't cook fried air, but here I am cooking for my kids every day. Not every day, but most of the day. <laughs> if you are someone that buys food outside all of the time, get in the habit of lessening. Does that make sense? Lessening the amount of times you buy food outside. So let's say in a week, you tend to buy food seven days start bringing it down to six days and gradually bring it down to five days four days and so on and so forth you know start to put a limit on the number of times that you eat out what you will pay for one meal will buy you groceries for the week or you could even push it if you only have one child for two weeks so be wise with your spending next tip you see that cute little water bottle you got in the cupboard you know the one that's in the back of the closet take it out put water in it and drink from it, okay? Reuse that water bottle, sis! Why are you out here buying bottles of water, bottle of water, bottle of water? When you could just refill that one bottle, wash the bottle, refill it and reuse it. I'm talking recycle, I'm talking be smart for the planet. I'm talking be smart for your pockets. Cause them bottles of water, I don't know, you know, I'll just buy a crate, it's only five, it's only six, that adds up. It adds, even if it's one dollar, it adds up. Whereas if you just keep refilling your bottle, you're chilling and you're taking care of the environment. Double win, hello. Next tip, turn off the lights and light a candle. Turn the lights off, god darn it. Turn, I'm talking to you, turn them lights off. You got ambiance lighting. You got lights in the background, but you in the, in the foreground. What you got lights in the background for? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Like, honestly, yeah, okay, it looks, the girlies. Oh no, because the girlies have the ambiance in the house. 
The girlies ain't paying for your bills. You paying for your bills. Turn them lights off. You know when I was little, <laughs> I used to hear a lot. Oh, your daddy worked for Con Edison? Did you hear that? Your daddy worked for Con Edison? <laughs> Con Edison was the energy supplier back in the time. Your daddy worked for Con Edison? I'm not in the, I'm not in New York anymore, so I don't know if it's still Con Edison, but that's what we used to get a lot. Your daddy worked for Con Edison? If your daddy don't work for Con Edison, you ain't got no business having all the lights on in the house. <laughs> And really you don't, because all of that adds up. The meter don't stop running just because you want to have ambiance lighting. Them, them plugs you got on, you know, you got, you got a, your phone charger just sitting on the plug. It's not charging anything, it's just pushing electricity, but it's not charging anything. You got a million things on that you're not using, but for why? Oh no, because you know, I, ha I have the, the reflector and I have the, um, I have the, the je ne sais quoi. Turn it off, sis, turn it off. Once you're done doing your TikTok video and your Instagram stories, turn that thing right off, sis. Cause somebody gonna have to pay for that at the end of the month, sis. And it shouldn't be you. You're too pretty to be paying high energy bills. Okay. No, but honestly, be mindful of what you have plugged in. And then here's another thing as well. Don't overcharge. Cause a lot of times we'll put something on the, on the, on the, on the wall, on the charge and we go. And that thing is just there, just your meter is just take it off. Electric scooters, that was created by the devil himself to take all of your energy out your house, okay? So be mindful of that. I'm not saying don't charge the things you need to charge. I'm not saying don't use the things you need to use. But once it's no longer necessary, unplug, undo, un whatever. Take all them appliances off. Take all of them off. You don't need them. And if, if things get tough, Light a candle. <laughs> Monitor the subscriptions. Okay. Oh no, because you know I'm doing a trial. This this is the thing that caught me. You you know the other day I had to pay 20. No, I'm lying. I had to pay like 30 something pounds for some filter something. And the gag? The gag is I don't even have the app anymore. So what exactly am I paying for? I don't even know what the filter is. Because I didn't cancel the subscription. Cancel them damn subscriptions. Monitor your subscriptions. Don't do that. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna do the trial and in seven days I'm gonna cancel. Put an alarm on your phone. Take that phone and put an alarm on your phone because guess what's gonna happen? Them seven days gonna come and go. And three years down the line, you paying a $37.95, $37.99 fee every month. When you ain't got no business paying that because you way too pretty to be paying them fees cancel the subscription sis i think that one a heart because i've been a victim i've been a victim of circumstance i've been a victim of laziness and complacency because i'm just like oh i'll do it later and later don't ever come but my bank account my bank account is always ready to just it's like my bank account's working against me it's just giving all my money away. Number five, uh, buy generic brands. Not every day you gotta eat Lay's potato chips. You know, sometimes you can eat Aldi brand potato chips. What is it, Sunkist? <laughs> Not every day you gotta shop an M&S, okay? Some days you can shop a Lidl, and Lidl will do you good. Lidl got everything you need plus more. Lidl is exotic. Lidl is exotic, okay? They even got the exotic aisle. What you doing at m and and got an international aisle or don't? They don't. <laughs> Not every day you gotta be buying the brand name. Sometimes you can buy the store brand, the store name products, and it'll be just as good. If not better. For me, it tastes even better because I know it's less the price. It's half of the price. Don't we eat it all the same? We eat it all the same. So what is the hoopla about? What's all that? <laughs> I gotta buy brand. What's all about? It all goes down the same place. You enjoy it just the same. So, I beg. <laughs> Save your coins, okay? And you know what? I could even extend this to certain things that we buy, you know? I could even extend it to certain appliances. Sometimes you could buy, what do they call that? Like white brand, white label. You know, like appliances like kettles, toasters, toasting machines, like those kind of things. But are, they're not like brand name. You know, you could just buy like the white brand. Girl, it works all the same. It works all the same. And let me be the one to say, look, I got a Ninja air fryer. I was doing a whole bunch of nothing with my Ninja air fryer. Cause guess what? It gets on my last nerves. I should have just gotten a little humble air fryer. One, you know, one of them round ones that fit everything inside. 
I got the ninja with the two pockets and sometimes I want to put something flat and I can't. I gotta cut it in half to fit in the two pockets. Was it worth it? Next. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? I'm over here giving you, I'm giving you all this. I'm giving you all of this. Just gems, huh? Just informations. Have you subscribed to my channel? Are you supporting your good sis? Are you supporting your sister mama? Hmm? Please, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, help me out, sis. Subscribe to my channel and give me that mood boost. I just, I just need to feel your presence there. I need to feel your presence there, okay? And I'll keep making these videos to help us all out because we need to get serious. We need to get serious, y'all. Next one. Set spending limits. And this could be daily, weekly, and monthly. So if you're someone that, you know, the minute you, you breathe outside air, ching, 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 you're spending money. You definitely need to put spending limits. Some people say it's impulsive. I say it's spontaneous. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> you're living on the edge. But please, let your spontaneity come with a bit of responsibility, okay? On the day, check what you can spend. You know, set that limit for that day. If you know you're going to struggle to stick to that limit, do not carry your cards with you. Take cash. Spend the cash that you have, and once that cash is done, it's done. Every week, say, look, this is what I have for the week, and this is what I have to stick to. Buy all of the important things first, and then you have money left over for whatever other things you want you got to get your necessities first and your wants are after you have to do budgeting you know you have to be realistic with yourself you can't keep <laughs> hanging on hope and a prayer with your finances you have to have a clear vision of what you what your money look like sis can't nobody help you but yourself well maybe your sugar daddy can help you you know but even then when he sends you money put everything in that budget list and have a clear idea of what's coming in and what's going out so that you know what you could work with and um work on setting yourself limits especially 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 if you are someone who struggles to have self-discipline when it comes to spending that cash situation that works wonders because you know nowadays it's easy 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 to spend money the minute that phone go changing all you gotta do is check your phone and go ding ding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and that's you. Limit that, okay? We are not here to be, <laughs> we're trying to save. We're trying to build financial, uh, what is it? Financial cushioning. But in order for us to work on our financial cushioning, we have to be disciplined. So, I know, you don't wanna hear that part, but I gotta be there. <laughs> Next tip, consume what you buy. <laughs> I know your refrigerator is full of food, is full of food that you are not eating. Just yesterday, you took out a whole bunch of lettuce, a whole bunch of spinach, that's all moldy in the bottom with all that extra spinach water, cucumber water, and you had to clear out your refrigerator, that, that pocket, that drawer that's in the refrigerator is full of gunk. You had to throw all that stuff away because you bought all that stuff to decorate your refrigerator. Why are you out here decorating your cupboard, decorating your refrigerator? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you because I'm talking to myself too. <laughs> what do I say? When you point one finger, you got three pointing back at you. I'm talking to all of us. Until I consume what's in the refrigerator, I'm not buying more because every time I have to throw away food that's gone bad, I get so upset with myself. Every time I go food shopping, I'm like, I'm going to buy exactly what we're going to use. I'm going to consume everything that I buy. What do you want? <laughs> what you want, mate? I want to say that it's important to eat your food because there's other children in need that, that want to eat food that you have. You and heard that? you have your food moldy, don't keep it moldy. You can mix it up and stuff too. You gonna eat moldy food? No, but you can mix it up to like, Recycle it. Okay, you can recycle the food. So y'all heard that Joelle said, you wanna come say hi to the people? Joelle said, there are children who wish they had what we have. So why are we letting food go to waste? Mm -hmm. That's what Joelle said. Yeah. All right, y'all, say hi. Hello, my name's Joelle. I'm, I'm Mama's Pum 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 Okay, y'all. Y'all heard it from the 10 year old himself. He's out here giving us lessons on life. There are children who wish they had what we have. Why are we letting our food go to waste so that we can go spend outside when we got food inside? Why are we decorating our refrigerators, decorating the cupboards in the kitchen? Consume what you have. And I'm not done yet. What about the freezer, sis? What about the freezer? Get in the freezer. You got meat that's been sitting there for six years and a half that your grandmother done gave you 10 years ago. 
consume what's in the freezer. This is what I've been trying to do now. And I, I'm actually doing it so well. This is why I'm speaking on it. I'm just like, I'm at a point where I'm like, no, we're not doing this. I will purposely cook stuff that's in like in my refrigerator. Cause what we're not going to do is get in this habit of spending and wasting. I hate that. I, I come from Africa. I take that really seriously. I mean, it doesn't matter where you come from, but you know, like, I don't know. I just take it really like pain, like it pains me if I throw away food. And I've also started to not buy things that I think I'm going to cook. I buy what I know I'm going to cook. Cause you know, sometimes you'll be like, oh, let me buy this. Let me buy this asparagus and let me buy the zucchini. And then maybe like in a couple of the, nah, 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 nah. Go with the list of things that you know you are going to, to, to cook that day, straight away. Either that day or the day after. Because if you go with the mindset, oh, I will cook it, that's it. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it. Next one. Know when to choose value. Yeah, okay, I know. I, I, it kind of sounds like I've been telling you to go cheap with other things. Like, you know, buy generic brands, buy white brands. Okay, fair enough. But you have to know when to choose value. If you buy cheap, you buy it twice. Keats? Your mom is right. On things that you know are going to have high wear and tear, they're going to have a lot of usage, it's worth it to buy something of value, uh, uh, of quality, I should say, sorry. Buy something of quality. You know, like kids clothes that they're going to wear daily. You know, buy, buy products with good cotton, with good durable material, so that when you put it in the washing machine, it don't have pimples all over. I call it clothes pimples. It don't have pimples all over. It's not ripping after the second wash. You know, buy something that's gonna last, otherwise you don't have to keep buying all the time. Certain appliances, um, washing machines, dryers, those are things that get a high level of usage. So buy good quality so that it's not messing up a year later and you're having to replace it. Okay, so those are certain, you know, those are the things that you got to invest in. If you're gonna invest in anything, invest in the things that you use a lot. Dare I even say a car? Dare I say a car? You know, cause I made the mistake, like right now I am in a situation where I'm a new driver. So I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy an expensive car, you know, because it's my new time, it's my first time driving. I'm gonna buy a cheap little uh, hoop, a uh, hunchback. And then I'm, I'm just gonna make do with that so that I can practice. And if I mash it up, I mash it up. And guess what? This thing is coming out real expensive. I have spent more money fixing it up than what I actually paid for the car. It has been the bane of my existence, the headache of my life. Best believe that the next time that I'm serious about getting a car, I'm going for quality. Okay, yeah, I'd rather spend a little bit more monthly on, on the monthly payments or, or flat out buy a, 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 a car that's more expensive. But in the long run, I have something that is secure, that is reliable, and that I don't have to worry about every other day. I know a lot of these things is down on luck, is down to luck and down to how you care for the things that you buy. But yes, there are certain moments in your life where you have to choose value. You have to choose quality, <laughs> okay? Not every day, G, okay, okay. Eat before you go grocery shopping, I said. I said it, I said it. Eat before you go grocery shopping, you guys. Do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> okay, no, but I'm serious. Do you know that when you go grocery shopping on a hung, like on an empty stomach, when you're hungry and you go grocery shop, I wrote this down so that I don't BS you guys, okay, look. When you are hungry, your stomach releases a hormone called ghrelin? Ghrelin. Ghrelin? Fight me if I'm wrong. Fight me if I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> Fight me if I'm lying. Come for me. I'm come for me. I'm waiting for you in the comment section. Your stomach releases a hormone called ghrelin, which acts on an area of the brain called the ventro ventromedial prefrontal cortex. Ventromedial prefrontal cortex. So somewhere, around, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in the brain. Okay. This deals with the reward and motivation system of it all. So when this is activated, it makes you want to seek out and consume calories and sometimes dare i even say most of the times we are consuming the wrong calories because we are so hungry i know you've had that feeling you're so hungry and you go food shopping you want to eat everything all of a sudden everything looks good to you they could be selling you coal on the plate and you're gonna buy that coal and eat it in the car cut it out Cut it out. Eat something before you go grocery shopping or go grocery shopping half an hour after you've had a meal or or have a banana in your pocket and eat that banana. banana. 
<laughs> Eat a banana before you go food shopping. Okay, so you don't make the mistakes that I made because then I end up with a refrigerator full of food that's decorating my refrigerator. I'm not even using that food. Food all going to waste because I decided to go food shopping on, a, on an empty stomach. Come on, y'all. We too old for this. We should know better by now. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Adulting is hard. Adulting is hard, but we keep on pushing. Next step, the power of second hand. Okay, now me, I'm a fancy girl. I love the little second hand. I love a little second hand moment in my life, okay? Let me tell you something. I decorated my whole house with second hand. My whole house. And nowadays, people are doing a lot with second hand. Do you guys see like those little Instagram accounts that be buying little uh, uh, second hand furniture and they and they flip it? What is it? Don't mind flipping in reverse. Okay, they do, they do a little something, they zhuzh it up. They zhuzh that second hand up. You would never know that they bought a second hand. Nowadays, you, not only do we have stores, so you have second hand shops. I'm sure anywhere you live, you have second hand shops. My town, we are filled with them. You also have apps like Vinted. You, and I'm sure there are many more. I only know Vinted. I survived off of getting secondhand clothes from people because I can't be buying everything new for my kids. I got other, I got bills to pay. Don't let these Instagram girls fool y'all. Y'all see them with the flyest clothes for their kids. Ask them to show you their, their bills. Is everything up to date? Hmm? I'm hating from outside the club because I couldn't even get in. <laughs> Oh, let me not be the one to hate on somebody. Listen, just because somebody got their life straight don't mean I got to hate on them. You know, maybe they do have their life straight. But I think a lot of the times, because I've seen it with my own two eyes, well, four, okay? I've seen cases where people are stunting on the ground, okay? And then when you know them in real life, not, not, not a fart in their pockets. <laughs> so please, mamas, please, I know these days is so hard to not compare yourself to what you see out there on social media it's so hard to not want more because we live in in in, in, a, in a consumerist society if that's the word if it's not don't come for me don't come for me because nobody's saying you okay we live in a consumerist society okay and we're getting products shoved in our faces daily because this is what these companies want they want to sell you and that's what that's what my fellow influencers are doing. Me, I influence, I don't know what I'm influencing over, but the girls, the girls are telling you, buy this face mask, buy this, that's a kid, buy this, that, buy this, that. And you know, yeah, okay, all right, maybe it does make you look 10 years younger, but hey, girl, did you pay your bills yet? <laughs> Have you saved money for your children's trip next month? Now you got the face mask and your kid is all here eating noodles on the trip. Come on now, don't worry, you're not embarrassed. Cut it out. <laughs> You guys, most things depreciate in value after the initial purchase. Things like cars, things like certain clothes, things like appliances, many things depreciate in value. So there's no point in killing yourselves to buy the, the baddest, the greatest. Let me tell you something. Y'all remember that video I did when I got my Dyson? Bertha. I love Bertha so much, but let me tell you something. You know how many times I have to put Bertha down and go get my, my little hoopty? <laughs> I go get my little hoopty that I was talking bad about. Remember I was saying, ooh, my hoopty's going in the garbage. I don't need it no more. Listen, that hoopty's still there because when the battery goes down on, or on Bertha and I still got things to do, you know who saves me? Hoopty. So did I really need Bertha? You know, I mean, she cute. She decorated my house, but did I really need her? I could have bought her second hand. Hoopty's still there. Years later, hoopty's still there doing what hoopty does best. When, when, when Bertha's being a diva, Hooty is there. Guys, we're reaching our final tip. And it's been a wonderful ride. I've been enjoying every moment of this tip. 11 is to think twice before you buy. And this is something that I've applied in my life and I know it works. This is the reason why I'm coming here with my chest to come and tell you about this tip, okay? Think before you buy. A lot of times, if I see something that I'm like, you know, I fall in love straight away, I walk away from it. I'll give it a day, two, three, and if on the third day I'm still thinking about that thing, best believe I'm gonna go back and get the thing because it's talking to me, it's in my soul, it's in my body, it's in my, I love it. I love it and I can't live without it, okay? But you know what happens most of the times? Most of the times, like minutes later, you're distracted by life and you forget about that thing completely. So if you're not thinking about that thing a day later, that means you never really needed it. You know, it was just that momentary love and, and it's not true love. You don't need it. 
You don't need it. Leave it there. Now, obviously, if it's something that is new, full price, you don't have to rush to get it. Chances are, if you don't buy it today, they'll have stock for you tomorrow. And if you if they don't have it at the store that you're looking at, I'm sure you can find it online. You can still find that item, unless it's like a sale item. I'm a girl that loves buying things off of sales. And that should have been another thing, another. So, I mean, this video could keep on keeping on, you know, because I got other tips, you know, like buy off of sales. And one thing that I learned working in Zada is that sometimes if you see something that's really good, you got to buy it in that moment. Because if you say, oh, I'm going to wait until tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow doesn't come and gone. It's gone. It's gone. That thing is done. You know, so I think take this tip, this final tip with a grain of rice. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And this goes with many things in your life. If you're going to make a very serious decision, uh, a decision that's going to impact any, like something big in your life, whether it's your pockets, <laughs> whether it's your lifestyle, whether it's your children, whether it's your whatever, take time to think about that decision before you press send, okay? Before you finalize, before you conclude, before you go through with it. In anything we do in life, we have to be thoughtful and mindful and strategic and um yeah all right that, that's it <laughs> that was my TED talk clap <laughs> anyway these are my 11 tips to save your shmoney honey okay save that shmoney mama for a rainy day save that shmoney for your children's college funds or save that shmoney for better better experiences in life for that cushioning save that money to improve your life altogether and and applying these tips daily there's no way that you can't save it takes a little discipline yeah okay you can't be like the girls that you see on the instagrams okay but we're not like the girls that we see on the instagrams i'm not saying don't ever have nothing just be mindful of how you're having something adapt these habits daily it may not seem like much but it compounds you know it it, it it accumulates it accumulates it accumulates and little by little you'll see the difference in your bank account oh this month I spent less you know you have bank accounts that send you notices like Monzo Monzo tells me my spending habits monthly oh this month you spend uh, significantly less than last month Oh, this month you spent increasingly higher than last month. You know, Monzo's nosy. <laughs> Monzo's nosy as hell. All over my business. But they keep me in check. You know, so maybe have your notification. This is another tip. You know, like I said, this could keep going. Have your notifications on for your banking apps. Turn off all of the notifications. She in notifications, turn it off. PLT notification, turn, turn it off. You don't need them PLT notifications. H&M notifications, turn it off. You don't need it. Zada, turn it off but your banking applications put on the notifications because they will tell you how you're spending compared to previous months compared to previous weeks compared to whatever how much have you spent today so far monzo does that to me <laughs> the other day i hopped over to holland i came back and it was like on your holland trip you spent my like, damn monzo all of our business but guess what it keeps me in track so now i know because i spent that for the rest of the month this is what i have to work with okay so do something like that you know use your your banking apps to to help keep you in track to, to hold you accountable <laughs> if you don't have a partner to hold you accountable your banking app will hold you accountable we're gonna save this money one way or another okay anyway you guys let me not rumble on because i can i can i can ramble you know i'm a rambler i'm a rambler i can keep going <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope you got some tips, some valuable tips on how to save some coins for a rainy day. It's raining outside right now. I'm in England, it's always raining. Okay. If you have other things that you do, other habits that you apply to your life uh, that help you save coins, share it down below because we could all help each other. We can all learn from each other. It's your girl, Jenna. I'm signing out. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to my channel. It's not by force, but by fire. <laughs> Cause I'm caliente. You guys, I will see you on my next video. Take care of yourselves.